What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So I'm sure most of us would love to just magically make more money, but unfortunately that is sometimes easier said than done. But one thing that is more important before making more money is actually maximizing the income that you already have. So today we're going to talk about a few different things that you need to do as soon as you get your paycheck every single time to maximize your income. And some of these tips will even allow you to quadruple your income or more just by having a few disciplined rules in place for your next payday. So if you want to maximize your income, then let's jump right into it. So before you can make any major changes, it is first important to give your own situation a closer look and be honest with yourself about whether or not you are truly maximizing your income already. Most people get their paycheck and feel like that means that they can just go out and spend money and buy whatever they want until that paycheck runs out. Other people are so far in debt that their paycheck just magically disappears because they have to pay so many different lenders for their student loans, their credit cards, make a payment on their car that they probably can't afford and pay for rent and suddenly there's nothing left over at the end of the month. And more often than not, that is exactly how people get stuck in the rut of living paycheck to paycheck. And that's exactly what we want to avoid. So what we want for you is to take care of your necessities first, while also having enough money left over to enjoy your lifestyle, but also planning for the future and multiplying that income. So the first thing that you want to do to maximize your income as soon as you get paid every single time is actually something that you should do before you get paid. And that would be plan. If you are living paycheck to paycheck, then you might not necessarily have a spending problem, but you might just lack a game plan when it comes to your money and personal finances. And as a result, you have no idea where each dollar is actually going. And that's exactly how that paycheck is suddenly just disappearing. Now, I do not want to bring up the trigger word because you all know where I'm going with this, but I'm just going to rip the bandaid and say it. You need to make a budget. Look, I get it. Budgeting is not for everyone, but making a budget does not necessarily mean that you need to have some elaborate 12 page spreadsheet that accounts for every single penny. Because honestly, unless you really enjoy that kind of thing, that's just not necessary. But at the very least, you want to plan ahead and make sure that you know how much money is coming in for each paycheck and what money you know for sure will be going out. And that would be your regular monthly expenses that you know are always going to be there. And by doing that you might be able to pinpoint areas where you're spending a lot of money and more often than not that's usually something like a car that is way too expensive for your budget and or a mortgage payment or rent payment that takes up a significant portion of your take-home pay so this video is not about how to budget or how to create a budget but there are tons of amazing budgeting platforms that can basically create a budget for you but if you don't want to use any of those platforms there are also things like the 50 30 20 budget or even the envelope method. So just do some research on your own and figure out what method is going to work best for you that you are going to be able to consistently stick with. Because just like an exercise plan, if you're not able to stick to it consistently in the long term, then regardless of how awesome that budgeting method may be for other people, that's just not going to work for you. All right, you get it. You have to plan ahead and making a budget isn't the most exciting thing in the world. But you're probably wondering how in the world am I supposed to 4x my income? And I promise that was not a clickbait title. Well, in order to do that, we need to start with the mentality of what's called pay yourself first. Remember earlier, we talked about how most people get their paycheck, spend like crazy, and then maybe have a little bit left over to put in savings or might even be able to invest a little bit extra. And if you take nothing else from this video, please understand that paying yourself first and saving and investing before you go out and spend is proven to be the best way to have financial stability in the long term. Plus, the great thing is once you plan ahead and make that budget that we just talked about and hopefully start tweaking some of those expenses that might be a little bit too high, you'll probably find that you have a lot more free money to save and invest than you thought. Okay, but telling you to invest is a very broad statement and can be really daunting, especially if you are brand new to investing. So the best place for most people to get started when it comes to investing is just to see if your employer offers what's called a 401k. Nine times out of 10, if you are a full-time employee at an established company of 
any kind, then you probably have some kind of 401k as a benefit. And this allows you to contribute money directly from your paycheck right into this 401k. And most of the time, it's basically going to be invested automatically for you by a professional company that your employer is paying for. Now, if you're not familiar, a 401k is just a retirement vehicle, just like a Roth IRA or a pension plan. But the best part about a 401k in particular is number one, the contribution limit, meaning the most that you're able to contribute each year is significantly higher than something like an IRA. And perhaps the best part about the 401k, in my opinion, is more often than not, your employer will actually match your 401k contributions up to a certain percentage of your paycheck. And that basically means that you're going to instantaneously double your money that you're putting into that account. So if you take nothing else from this video, please just promise yourself that you will at least contribute up to what your employer is willing to match because that is literally a magic box where you put $1 in and it instantaneously turns into $2. Now that's awesome, but your employer might either not match it at all, or maybe they only match up to a small percentage. But either way, that's a great option, but that's actually not the way that we are going to 4X your income. To prove to you how we're going to do that, we're actually going to use our good old friend, math. Aww. Except in this case, I promise it's not going to be boring. And in the example that we're gonna talk about today, we're going to take a $50,000 salary and show you how you can turn that into over $208,000, hence the Forex title of this video. But that sounds impossible, right? Well, if you're familiar at all with the term compound interest, then you probably know that the number one most important factor when it comes to building wealth on your wealth is time. So in this example, we're looking at a $50,000 salary just because I think that's a pretty fair and average number, but this math works for any income, whether you make a lot more than that or a lot less than that. So feel free to plug in your own numbers and income to see how you can forex your own income today. All right, so let's say you have a $50,000 salary and that's a pretty decent amount of money that you can live on comfortably depending on where you live. Now, obviously you're going to have a chunk taken out for taxes and you're also going to have your regular expenses like a mortgage or rent payment, food, and other obvious things like that. But if you have planned accordingly, like we talked about earlier and budgeted, then you've probably cut down on a lot of those unnecessary expenses and you're not living some extravagant lifestyle that is way above your income level. And that means that there should be plenty of room left over to invest significantly. Now, typically you'll hear people say that you should invest around 15 to 20% of your income, but let's go crazy and say that you're able to invest 30% of your $50,000 salary, which would be $15,000 per year. Again, things are going to look a little bit different when you account for taxes, but for the sake of simplicity, let's just say that you were investing $15,000 for the year, which is still under the 401k contribution limit of $19,500 at the time of recording this video. So let's say you're investing that in your mid twenties, maybe 25 years old, and you just put that $15,000 into your 401k, which is probably widely diversified for you. And that money is probably going to earn around a seven to 8% average return per year. Well, that means that without adding any additional money and literally just putting that money in there and not touching it, your investment on your $50,000 salary of just $15,000 for the year will be worth over $208,000 by age 58. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, well, I don't wanna wait that long or there's no way that I can invest 30% of my income and yada, yada, yada. Well, first of all, if there is some magic box where you can legally and safely turn $50,000 into over $200,000 immediately, then I would love to hear about that down in the comment section below. But second of all, keep in mind that this example assumes that you, number one, never make any additional contribution to your retirement plan, doesn't account for the possibility of a 401k match from your employer, which is literally free money and usually happens, and it assumes that you are always making the same salary throughout your entire career, which in most cases is very unlikely. But the advantages of this type of consistent retirement contribution do not end there. And lucky for you, there is actually a way that you can get a pretty huge benefit out of this immediately. And that would be paying less in taxes legally, of course. What you may not know is any contribution to a traditional IRA or in our example, a traditional 401k is a simple and easy deduction that reduces your taxable earned income. So to show you what I mean, let's take your $50,000 salary and let's say that you owe 20% in taxes on that money. Well, that means that if we keep this example really simple and ignore all of the other standard deductions and things like that, you would owe $10,000 in taxes. 
However, since you invested $15,000 worth of your income into a 401k, that $15,000 can be subtracted from your $50,000 salary, meaning in the eyes of the government, you only made $35,000. And that means at the same 20% tax rate, you now only owe $7,000 instead of the previous $10,000, meaning your contribution to your 401k literally just saved you $3,000 in taxes right now. And that's pretty awesome if you ask me. So yes, we would all love to have a magic box that turns $1 into $100 immediately, but I hope this example shows you that prioritizing your investing and paying yourself first can legitimately multiply your income in the long term and can also save you thousands and thousands of dollars in taxes today while also getting a lot of free money from your employer in most cases. So it's kind of a win-win for your financial health now and in the future. As always, I would love to hear what you think of this down in the comment section below and what percentage of your income you are currently investing for your future financial goals. Of course, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think would get value out of this content as well. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.